Well, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of I Read Somewhere That. And thank you all for your wonderful support. And I have to say there's so much fabulousness out there right now. It's hard to know where to start. Um, I'm really enjoying creating this podcast and I hope you're really enjoying it too. And speaking of podcasts, are you watching Only Murders in the Building with Steve Martin, Martin Short and Selena Gomez? I just love it. What's interesting is I feel like one of the old guys. I feel like either I'm, you know, Steve or, or, or Martin Short, particularly Martin Short. I think I relate to him. There's a whole new language out there, a new energy. And uh, sometimes I think I don't really understand what people are saying. <laughs> However, no one exemplifies this energy and language better than someone I follow. Her name is Christine Liu. That's L-I-E-U. And I definitely feel like I'm a Martin. I'm Martin to her, Selena. So she recently posted this on her newsletter. As a business owner, change maker, entrepreneur, and I insert author, she says, I get that you're looking to impact the world with what you do, and I don't take that lightly. So when someone says you've changed, take it as a compliment. Evolution is a huge part of the process. Same with, with iteration through your business. We all started from somewhere, and easier said than done, but knowing that you'll do something more than once and will inevitably learn something and get better along the way is reassuring because so many people stop when they feel like they've, quote, failed, unquote, the, the first time. And she says, here are a few things to consider this autumn. And she also said, I hope you love puns, as an I love a pun. She says, don't sweat the fall stuff. We don't get to choose what happens to us or those we love, but we choose how we react to it. Being able to prioritize what's important to you and your version of success is important beyond what you see scrolling endlessly on Instagram to what seems shiny but not aligned. I think that's that's a great, great point. And then she said this, which just made me laugh. She said, do what you like a latte. And I think that's just fabulous. And she says, and be unapologetically clear about it. Know who you are, what you stand for, and who you want to work with. That clarity has so much power and is magnetizing for cultivating opportunities with confidence. And she says, you deserve it. So Christine definitely um, really demonstrates, you know, that the power of the, the, the new language out there. I'm going to call it the younger language. And I'm trying to embrace that, you know, because uh, as one gets older, sort of like the, the Martin Short in Only Murders in the Building, uh, one can feel a little pumice stoned by life, as it were. So it's great to be following Christine. And you can find her as underscore C-L-I-E-U on Instagram and other places. And Speaking of, um, you know, just books and m money and tying into business, etc. Because, you know, being an author is kind of, well, it is a business in a way. What do I mean? It's kind of a business, you know. <laughs> you have to see it that way. And I think sometimes mm, it's actually interesting that I pause there because clearly I struggle to see the book as a business. Anyway, that's, I'm, I'm segueing completely. So back to um, Nathaniel Moore. And his book, Honorarium, and he says in the introduction, the general reputation of the book industry is that it's not at all about money. But I don't buy that completely. While book sales may not be what every author hopes for and dreams of, there is a lot of unsung privilege in working in publishing. And I really love that quote. Um, and it ties into another book that I'm reading called Creativity, Unleashing the Forces Within. And it is by, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, Osho, Osho, O-S-H-O. And it starts like this. Creativity is the greatest rebellion in existence. If you want to create, you have to get rid of all conditionings, 
Otherwise, your creativity will be nothing but copying. It will just be a carbon copy. You can be creative only if you are an individual. You cannot create as part of the mob psychology. So that's very interesting. and I'm really enjoying um, reading this book. And uh, I'd like to now introduce a new element to the podcast. And it's called Sharing is Caring. And I recently read two books that blew me away. Um, the first one is Daria by Irene Marquez from Inanna Publications. And uh, I think she wrote one of the best first lines ever. She said, I write myself in the intervals of a lifetime to see if I can find my true name. Wow, I just thought that was amazing. And the book doesn't let up from there. Daria is a magnificent novel of power, beauty, bravery, and it's just the, the prose is absolutely exquisite. The other book that I read, oh, I'm just going to pause for a cup of coffee, excuse me. Thank you so much. My full voice is kicking in. <clears throat> so the next book I read is uh, Wave Forms and Doom Scrolls by Daniel Scott Tiles Tysdell. Sorry, Daniel, I, I know I'm getting that wrong. Published by Woolsack and Wynn. And I said this in my review. These fabulous and twisted short stories put on a clinic. And if we were to liken the collection to Forrest Gump's box of chocolates, these would be fireball bonbons that you couldn't resist guzzling in short order. I I really devoured the book. It's dark. It's twisted. It's fantastic. It's it's a collection of short stories, and um, there's a poem in there as well, and there's some some artwork, and it's really fabulous. So so both of those two thing, those two books, um, sharing is caring. I want to share with you, and. In breaking news about Amazon, Noelle Allen, who is the wonderful publisher of Will Second Win, posted this on Facebook. Um, uh, in breaking news, uh, Amazon, in a fresh swipe at the e-commerce giant, French lawmakers will this week draft a law that would effectively stop Amazon from offering virtually free delivery for book purchases. This is a major selling point for the online platform versus traditional bookstores. The draft law, which comes from the Senate and has the backing of President Emmanuel Macron, aims to protect the brick and mortar shops from competition with Amazon and has left Amazon reeling. So this French bill would set minimum rates for book deliveries, raising prices from near zero companies like Amazon. And you can find that full article at politico.com. EU. And by the way, Amazon declined to comment to the article. So that's all for me for this week. Um, oh, no, wait, I wanted to end off with another great quote by the membership contributor, Simon Constam. And you can follow him as well on at Daily Ferocity on Instagram. And he says this, we need to be loved not just by people, but also by the universe in whatever form that takes. Accomplishment, success, the ability to create, or just a place to be. And I think that ties in so well to the book that I'm reading, Creativity, Unleashing the Forces Within. So um, to everyone out there, happy reading, happy writing, and have a fabulous week. Thank you.